This is Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter. Welcome to Job Search Radio. Are you looking for a new job or interested in leveling up? Job Search Radio is your go-to resource for insider tips on job hunting and growing your career. Here's your host, Jeff Altman. Hi, this is Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome to Job Search Radio. You know, you're smart, and you start your job search, and you line up your references. Good news. You did it at the beginning. You know what they're going to say, so that from the time of the first application, you know you can put them down as a reference. But a lot of time sometimes goes by between your initial contact and the time that you actually need them. How do you keep them on their toes? How do you make sure that they're ready to help you? That's the subject of this show. So I hope you find it helpful. Hang in there, and if you like today's show, come join me at at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Hope you have a great day and enjoy today's show. So the question is, how do you stay in contact with your references when you know you're going to be involved with a lengthy job search? Interesting question. I'll just start by saying so much of this question reveals a lack of confidence on the part of the job hunter. Now, you know, first of all, I don't know how lo- how long a long job search is, but let's assume this person knows it's going to be a long job search because they realize that they're a beginner or they have antiquated skills and experience that's going to cause it to be a long job search. So first of all, uh, I want you to... Uh, you know, to accept the fact that you need to do work in order to make this not a long job search. By that, I mean there are things you need to learn or relearn that the market demands of you that's going to improve your chances instead of being like a feather in the wind blowing from place to place. You take charge of your own career and learn what you need to learn. So that's step number one. Step number two is how do you stay in contact with people? And the answer is you stay in contact on a limited basis, but not an abusive basis. So, for example, you write what seems like a personal note. Instead of doing a bulk copy or a blind copy to you know five people who might be your references, just copy and paste it into each individual message area uh, that uh, that you uh, uh, are sending to them. Address them individually. You know, and the subject line can be you know, as simple as you know, status update. I'm not at a point yet where I think my interviews are going to yield an offer, but I, th- I just want to let you know I'm still looking. Keep this in your mind. Uh, remind you of a couple of the points that I want you to make in, you know, at the right time so it just doesn't hit you like a ton of bricks. Have no fear. When I need you, I will be calling you immediately and saying it's time so that they'll start getting the habit uh, of knowing that when, you know, that that's the code phrase for you really need them. Every four to six weeks is fine. Uh, just to send a quick report on your search and, and where you are. You don't have to mention companies. Just simply say you've been talking to a number of firms. You're not quite at the point where you think uh, you're going to be getting an offer, but just want to stay in touch so that uh, they knew that you were still looking and you'd still need them for a reference. Yada, yada, yada. So that's today's show. I hope you find it helpful. I also want to point out that my site, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, has a lot of great information that's going to help you find work more quickly. Plus, plus, you get to ask me questions so I help guide you through your job search. After all, the skills needed to find a job are different but complement the ones needed to do a job. And that's where I want to help you at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Curated information, all my books and guides to job hunting, videos, podcasts, articles I've written, all my books and guides to job hunting are are available to help you. Again, that site is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back tomorrow with more. Come subscribe and hope you have a great day. Take care. If you would like to have Jeff give you advice about your job search, you'll love JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. 
This site has all of Jeff's books and guides to job hunting available free. The ability to have Jeff answer your questions, plus podcasts and videos that will help you with all the different parts of a job search, including writing a winning resume and cover letter, great answers to interview questions, how to negotiate effectively, whether you want an easy way or want to get tough, plus a community of people like you who you can get advice from. The site, again, is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. 